toys for you. I've got little notes, which I'm now going to try and juggle with the laptop. Um, and I've been seriously rewriting them so that I, I, I was trying to count how many times uh, Martin mentioned libraries in his presentation. I'm thinking, how much did the NHS trust enough times in my <laughs> I'm just going to have to go for it. Um, and, and Linda was right. Um, a lot of people don't have internet access. Um, we've been looking quite hard at, uh, at uh, what's called digital Britain. And the last set of figures I saw said that um, about 70% of Britain is online. And I thought, well, that's great. And they're showing the 30% that aren't. Um, and that's not all disabled people. But you know, there's, there's going to be a fair proportion of people who don't have the internet at home. So I'm here to talk about what libraries can do for you in Suffolk. Um, no internet, no problem. We've got some. You can have some. We're pleased to be a partner. Um, in this, you know, really excited about it. We're already uh, working in partnership um, in the health arena. Um, our information on prescription service has been running for about three years now. Um, we've been offering a uh, mental health and wellbeing information service and a mental health community resource uh, in partnership um, with, uh, with, with MIND um, particularly, but other partners. And uh, in fact, champions, um, we, we use uh, volunteers who live in communities to gather information about that community and feed it into uh, infodemic community directories for, for Suffolk. Um, and some of those people I'm delighted to say have um, physical disabilities, learning disabilities, mental health um, problems. And they, they have told us that we're really pleased that actually it's not them receiving the service from us. It's then helping us to deliver a service. Um, you know, disabled people aren't recipients. Shouldn't be recipients all the time. Actually, they've got things to give. They, they live a whole life, and we're really pleased in in um, to, to be able to take uh, partnership in in delivering disabled go to people to help them do that. So, internet access in every Suffolk library. We have 44 libraries across the county and internet access in every single one of them, and it's free. Um, no test, no proof of, of, um, of need, you just go in and use it. Or preferably, book in advance if you can. How do I do that? Um, you can book by phone. Um, ring up, uh, two ways of doing that, ring your local library, or ring Suffolk Libraries Direct, one number for the whole of the library service. Um, it's a geographic number, as you can see, it's a network number. Um, but that person will be able to book you an internet access, uh, internet session in any library in the county. You can book by going into your local library. And you can book, again, any go into any Suffolk library, they can book you a session in any, any library in Suffolk. I'm really pleased to see you. And of course, if you've got your internet session book, you can book the next one while you're online. And staff are available to help. Or you could just turn up. Sometimes you might have to wait for a session, but we've got one or two other things you might like to be doing while you're in. And we offer access to a lot of online services. Um, our staff are trained in helping people get onto the internet, helping them learn how the internet works and make them confident, but also to, to help them find what services are out there. Disable Go is one of a number of services that we're really excited to be able to help people access. Um, we already offer um, online learning through, through um, UK Online, through LEAP, Learning and Enterprise Access Points um, are available in every library. Um, people book um, appointments to see GPs through uh, NHS Choice. Um, and we've been, we've been offering for a while um, a system for people to be able to book uh, housing association housing um, in libraries. So we can offer support when it's needed and then back off when people feel more confident. We're not here to do things for you when you don't need us to, but we're there as a helping hand if you do. 
So, no internet, no problem. Come into your library, we'll be very pleased to see you there. Thank you very much. Hey, um, so there's been a lot sitting and listening to us. I think uh, there's now time for us to have um, some interaction with you and to hear about your ideas and thoughts. So, Katie, I think you're going to lead us through this session. Thank you. Um, hello, everybody. My name is Katie Ward. Um, I know some of you, um, and then some of you only by email, so it's nice to finally see you all. Um, I just personally want to thank um, all the colleagues and voluntary sector organisations and providers and um, NHS colleagues, I can't even, there are dozens if not hundreds of you and you're not all in this room but I'm really grateful for the support and it's been such a pleasure to work with you, um, so thanks um, very much for that. The next um, challenge for us now that we have this guide and now some of you have heard a bit about it and hopefully some of you have used it as well, is to tell other people about it and make it um, make people aware of it and, and accessible for people. So we're going to spend about 10 or 15 minutes doing this. Um, you have some A3 sheets on your table. Um, there are two of them. Firstly, we want to invite you to tell us what you like and dislike about the guide and also, of course, your ideas um, for improvement. Um, and secondly, we're looking for your suggestions of who we should be promoting this guide to and how we should be doing that and actually the partners who we need to engage um, to make sure that happens. Um, so about 10 or 15 minutes um, and I'll see you that's a good suggestion. That's an excellent idea. We are today uh, working with us along the way, and to you for helping us to continue to improve. Thank you very much.